I wish people knew just how unique they are. They are the sole survivors of their genus. For more than the past 12 years, I've been studying Asian elephants in Sri Lanka. Asia is of course the most densely populated continent. Elephant populations are living right next to very large human populations. There are written records of elephants being in human care in 3000 BC. So we have a more than 5,000 year history with elephants. And that's kind of comparable to the history that we have with horses. But horses are domesticated. Elephants are often referred to as domesticated, but they're still wild animals. My work is turning towards how I can facilitate people and elephants living side by side peacefully because the biggest threat is habitat loss and fragmentation. Most people are not going to see these animals in their natural habitats, so helping people make that connection and then care about the species and then behave accordingly, I think is an important role that zoos can play. In a zoo setting, what I think is the most important thing um, is the social environment. So having choice, having control of what they want to do, and having control of who they're going to be around and who they're interacting with. They have a good substrate that they can walk on. They have access to water that they can play in. Elephants absolutely love playing in the water. There are different levels at which you can help. As a global consumer, being aware of you know, where the things that you buy and the things that you consume come from is part of that. And then number two, being responsible as a tourist so that you're not promoting practices and supporting establishments that might not be very good for the animals in their care. And then the third thing that you can do at a distance is support the organizations, individuals, nonprofits that are working in conservation. My hope for Asian elephants is that we can somehow reconnect the habitats that they've lost. Right now, there are these pockets uh, in which they're surviving, and in order for them to persist into the future, we need to reconnect those habitats and grow the, the populations in a, in a way that doesn't present a challenge for the people who also are living next door.